Y'all, up next is Jonah's. Everybody get ready. Hmm, I see a little hand. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it is Easter basket time. I just got the kitchen cleaned up from breakfast. All the kids are doing their schoolwork now. Got Manly down for his nap. He woke up early with me this morning, so he was already ready to go to sleep. So while he's taking his nap, we're gonna put Easter baskets together. I watched Paula Dean's Easter basket video, y'all. Paula be making a big old basket. I mean, that thing is huge. <laughs> I had a big Easter basket when I was little too. I still, do I still have my basket or did I give it back to mama? I either still have it in the closet in there or I gave it back to my mama, but it was a really big Easter basket too. I think we talk about this almost every Easter basket video, but what was something that was always in your Easter basket? We always had the bubblegum eggs. We always got a new Easter outfit for that Easter Sunday. Peeps, of course, there were always peeps. And the little pink, or sometimes they might've been pink or blue, little bendable bunny rabbits. I never see those anymore. Those were always in our basket and I love them. You could just bend their legs and arms and everything all around. <laughs> anyway, those are things I always remember being in our Easter basket and the bubblegum eggs were so good. They're not the same anymore. Now they're not really that good. They actually like start melting or something. It's weird. So I didn't get any of those this time. There are peeps though. <laughs> so I still have everything in bags pretty much. I got these baskets for Jacob, Tyler, and Jonah. Some of the stuff was just in that basket. But these are Jacob's, Tyler's, and Jonah's. All the baskets came from the Dollar Tree, which they should now change the name to the Dollar 25 Tree. But anyway, so they were all a Dollar 25. The yellow chick one is Manly's, and then I got CCA Bunny one, if I can get it out. Okay, there we go. Which one do we want to do first? We'll start with oldest to youngest. We'll start with Jake. All right, so if y'all missed last year's Easter basket video, I'll link it down below, because I did get a few different things this time. Uh, I normally always get them some kind of book or something. It actually used to be they would get their new devotional for the year on Easter, but somewhere along the way, it got switched to Christmas is when they get that now. I need to switch it back to Easter next year because I really like for that to be one of the things they get for Easter. But anyway, this year I got books and magazines again. So for Jacob this time, he's all into truck stuff and all because you know, he loves to do different things with his truck. So I asked him which magazine they wanted. <laughs> He wanted this one, so I got him a subscription to this magazine. So that's gonna go in his basket. We'll do Jacobs and Tyler's, we'll pack theirs at the same time. Tyler wanted Western Horseman again, so this is the latest one. Okay, now fishing stuff. So it's gonna look like the little kids, well they do have more items, but that's because Jacobs and Tyler's items cost more than theirs. For example, these little flies here for fishing six seven dollars for this guy yeah so that's why it's gonna look like the little kids have more stuff but i spent the same on everybody's basket so let's see we'll go ahead i have some eggs that i'm gonna put their little flies in i got this from the dollar 25 tree right here jacob said he wanted this one so he's gonna get this guy right here and i'm just gonna put that one 
by itself because it's kind of big. And I have little floats right here. One of these is going to go in with Jacob's thing right here. And then Tyler's getting two of them because he didn't get the big guy. They told me what kind of things they wanted to because I don't know anything about this fish and stuff. Nothing. <laughs> Next we have beef jerky. So they actually like this Dollar General brand beef jerky. Sunflower seeds. This is like fishing snacks. They always have some of this stuff with them when they go fishing. <laughs> now we have, we'll go ahead and put their eggs in here. These little things. I got these from Ollie's the other day. I got this one and anyway, I have two of these that I got from Ollie's. Where is the other one? It's around here somewhere. But anyway, I showed y'all these in the Ollie's haul the other day, but somewhere the other one has disappeared. <laughs> I'll probably find it in a minute. But anyway, they're each getting one of these little guys here. And then the candy, Reese's peanut butter eggs. They don't like peeps, so I didn't get a box of peeps for them. They're getting the eggs. I think I'll give them three eggs per basket. And then, let's see, we'll get a yellow egg to put some of this other candy in. I have these little mini Three Musketeers. And that's their baskets right there. Teenage Boys Easter Baskets. Up next is Jonah's. I have this Highlights. Puzzle Mania Farm Puzzles book. I got him a bubble blower, little bubble gun, an electric toothbrush, some kinetic sand. This was in the Easter baskets last year too. Some blue Easter putty. You know what? Is this inside of an egg? I think I'm just going to open this and put the egg in here. That way I can have a little more room going on. This Lego City Wildlife Rescue pack here. This Ninja Turtle putty with the little stamper. This, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in the basket, but he loves to build stuff. So I got him this little thing. Let's see, I'll just set this to the side of his basket. There we go. And then his peeps, M&Ms, a Reese's peanut butter egg, and then his eggs with just some of this candy in it. Let's see, we'll get a blue one. So there's Jonah's. Oh, I forgot something that I got for Jacob and Tyler. Some of these Slim Jims. I'm going to divide these. There are 14 in here. Five, five here, and then I'm gonna put some in Jonas too. There we go. Now, sissies, it's gonna look like an explosion of pink. Everybody get ready. So here's her book. I thought I had gotten her one of those Puzzle Mania books, but I forgot I put it back and got this Fluffy Animals sticker book. And she saw it and thought that I just got it or, you know, I didn't do a good job sneaking this one in the buggy. And this squishy soap set. I did sneak this. She didn't see this. Also got it from Ollie's. So it's a, you just make some kind of squishy soap. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. We have that in there. This came from Aldi a few weeks ago. It's a little stuffy in there. And then there's a surprise up under there somewhere. This might, I might need to put this in last because I think it's going to stick down in there good. I got her some pink kinetic sand toothbrush, this little cupcake play-doh set, a blow pop bath bomb, M&Ms, and her peeps, this little Easter Polly Pocket. Now we can put this here and then just her candy. Let's see. And there Sissy's one more, Mr. Man's. His basket is my favorite one. It is so cute. First of all, I got him this ball. He loves these little balls. I got him a bubble thing too. Oh, here's his book. His book is The Very Busy Farm. I got it from Ollie's. This, let's see, I'm gonna put his ball on the bottom because then his stuff will just kind of sit on top of it. I got him a toothbrush too because he loves, when they have their electric toothbrushes out, he loves it, so I got him one. I got this little puzzle board. Then I got him this little, oh, there's the other fishing thing. I just found it. Let me go put this in Tyler's basket. <laughs> Okay, now I got him this pack of socks, M&Ms, they match his basket, and his peeps, and I got him this Play-Doh. It's not going to fit in his basket. Well, maybe it will. There we go. All right, and now his candy. I got these little animal eggs because y'all know he loves some animals. I got these from the $1.25 tree, so we're going to put his candy in here. All right, that's all of them. I have extra candy and eggs and stuff over there, so we'll use those for the egg hunt. But I love it. I just love Easter baskets because they're just so cute. So I hope that gave y'all some ideas if you're still looking for Easter basket ideas. Um, the kids are all getting something to wear for church Sunday too, but I don't have everybody's yet. I'm still looking for Jacob, Tyler, and Jonah a shirt, so <laughs> I've still got to get that. I also have an extra M&M's, bubble gum, a Slim Jim. And then I have extra candy still too. It can be prizes for the egg hunt. <laughs>
All right, y'all, it's a little while later. I'm starting supper now. I have some spaghetti boiling in the pot. We're making a fancy spaghetti. I mean, it's not really fancy, but it's a little more than just a normal spaghetti bake. It's almost like spaghetti lasagna, only not, because we're not using ricotta or cottage cheese. It's kind of like the million dollar spaghetti. That's what it's like. I'm looking for, what did I come in here for? Oh yeah, mozzarella cheese. Two blocks of mozzarella. We're gonna get this shredded, and I'm gonna move the pasta to the back now. We're gonna go ahead and start the ground beef, and I need to chop up an onion. I haven't made this in a very long time. This is a little over two pounds of ground beef. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to fit this in one 9 by 13 casserole dish, so we might get two 9 by 13s, or we might get, you know, one 9 by 13 and one 8 by 8 or something. We'll see. Okay, we're going to chop up the onion, put it in there with the ground beef and some garlic. I'm just going to make some homemade garlic bread to go with this tonight. I didn't get any garlic toast from Walmart or Ingles. I thought I had a box in the freezer, but I guess we already used it. But it's fine. We'll just do some homemade real quick. I thought about putting a pepper in here, but I'm just, I'm going to make salads on the side. So we'll just have some peppers chopped up to go on the salads because nobody else really minds the peppers, but Sissy doesn't love them. So, and they don't care if they're in there or not. It's not like they want them in there really bad. They just, everybody else just doesn't care if they're in there. Hey! You're on the back porch? Tyler took them outside for a few minutes. Garlic. I think the recipe says two cloves, so pretty close to the same. So now we'll just let this cook until it's done, and then we'll drain it. Okay, we got the mozzarella cheese shredded, so we're just gonna put it, you know what, I probably should've gotten a bigger bowl, y'all. Why do I do this? Why do I always underestimate the size of the bowl that I need? <laughs> Maybe it'll work. We're gonna mix this with the softened cream cheese. All right, we're just gonna sit this over to the side. I'm gonna drain the ground beef now. Okay, so we just put the ground beef in this really big bowl. Now we're gonna put the spaghetti noodles. You could even do this without the ground beef if you wanted to make this a meatless meal because it's gonna have, you know, all the cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, noodles, pasta sauce. Oh, you know what I forgot to put? I need to put some parsley in that cream cheese and mozzarella cheese mixture. Y'all don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. <laughs> okay, dumping in the pasta sauce. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put in this other jar. Okay, we're gonna start with this nine by 13 one. I'm gonna spray it. Oh wait, first I need to put some parsley in my, see y'all almost let me forget. Don't let me forget. We'll just put in a little bit of Italian seasoning. Shake it in there, Sissy, I'll tell you when. That's good. Here, I'll put it right over here and you can stir it up. Sissy's gonna stir that in for me. Okay, so we put some of the cream cheese and mozzarella mixture, more of the spaghetti mixture, and then I had to shred up some mozzarella cheese real quick because I forgot I needed some to go on the top. Now this is going in the oven for about 30 minutes. cheese monsters around here. Is it good?
aunt. Is that a balloon? That's yeah, balloon. they've got balloons. It looks like it's somebody's birthday party. Is it a birthday? That's a balloon. Yeah, that is a balloon. That's a balloon. Ooh, That's this bunny, he ate a lot of cupcakes, huh? And one delicious birthday carrot cake. That's a balloon. Yeah, more balloons. They were a big, a warm rabbit family all in one clump. And they all celebrated together in a hollow tree stump.